Hi there, my name is Jesse, and I'm going to show you how to install Forge and Light Loader Mod Loader together. This should work on pretty much any version of Minecraft. Um, you just got to make sure you get the right versions for your actual version of Minecraft. In this case, I'm doing Minecraft 1.12.2. So you can see I've already downloaded uh, the Forge installer, the Light Loader installer, uh, both EXEs, and I've got some mods like the Blur mod, which I really like, uh, Voxel, Minimap which is a light mod, uh, Optifying, and Sound Physics. All great uh, mods that I really love that really enhance the experience of Minecraft, but also allow you to play on vanilla servers. All right, so first we're just gonna do double click on the Forge install. You're gonna get a little bit of a, a little warning here. Uh, if you got these mods from somewhere other than their own websites like the Forge website or the Light Loader website or Minecraft Forum or Curse Forge, um, don't install it. You got it from the wrong place. Make sure you get it from where the developers actually post it, not somewhere shady like Minecraft9.com. So I'm just going to click on more info and run anyway. And you can see here it's already grabbed my default Minecraft folder. So we're just going to hit OK. Successfully installed. And we're good. That was easy. So we're going to open up Minecraft to see if it's there. I need to create a new version. Here we go. Add new. And if we come down here, we should be able to find the Forge 1.12.2. Here we go. Uh, we'll deal with JVM ar arguments here in a little bit, but for now we'll just leave it here and pick an icon for it. Let's give it some TNT. It could blow up. And save. Go back to news on the main page. And there we can choose unnamed configuration. I forgot to name it. All right, so unnamed configuration. There we go. Now we're going to close this out again. We're going to install the light loader installer. My DPI scaled up a little bit, so this is showing a little weird. So uh, we're going to extend from our already chosen Forge 1.12.2. And that's the correct directory there. Hit OK. Light loader 1.12.2 with Forge 1.12.2 into the launcher. So there we go. So to install the mods, it's very simple. In a new explorer window, I'm just going to go to percent app data percent. That will take me right to where the Minecraft install directory is. We're going to create a new folder called Forge. Light loader. One point twelve point two. And this is where we're going to set the install directory for this particular version of Minecraft. So now that that's in there, we'll open this up. Choose that one again. Forge light loader 1.12.2. So again, I'm going to set it to 1080p. 20 by 1080. Game directory, another backslash. And what did I name it? We're going to come over here, just click on that once, copy it. And there we are. JVM arguments. I've got 32 gigs of RAM. I'm going to give it half of my RAM. If you have 8 gigs or less, you want to set it to like 25% of your RAM. So if you have 8 gigs of RAM, set it to 6. If you have 4 gigs of RAM, set it to 3. You get the, you get the idea. Not all of your RAM is the idea because your operating system and any uh, other applications you run are going to need some kind of RAM to use. So, And there we go. 
give this a bookshelf. Make sure you hit save. And there we are. I'm gonna hit play. And it's gonna take a while to uh, get all this stuff sorted out, especially the first time you run it. But this is a good sign. We can see that stuff's loading and it's not crashing. Five mods. I'm gonna quit. And we're gonna copy all of these mods over. So forge mods are gonna come as jars. If they're anything else, make sure you extract them from like, if it's a 7-zip or a 7-z, extract it from that or a zip file. Should be a jar. And then light mods, light loader mods are gonna come as dot light mod. So we're just gonna copy these into the forge light loader and mods folder. Additionally, I intend to use shaders since I installed Optifine this way. I'm going to create a shader packs folder. Just like that. If you want more information about installing shaders, uh, check out my other tutorial for installing Optifine and shaders mod. This is a little bit different than that video because we've, we're actually installing it in Forge, so we don't need to install Optifine the same way we just drop the Optifine jar into the mods folder like we did just now. Otherwise, it's about the same configuration of your shaders and all that is gonna be the same as my other video. All right, so let's give this a try and see if everything works. Crash your fingers. Play. We'll do a single player world real quick. Creative, new world, we'll leave it just like that. Voxel map, that was my light loader mod. Clearly it's working, so there we go. And this sounds like the uh, sound mod is loaded. Yep, you hear that sound? You hear the echo? And a different sound for the footsteps. So there we go. And one of my favorite, just small mods. This is what that blur mod does. See how that background blurs out real nice. Isn't that cool? I love that. And there we go. We can see light loader is loaded and one mod is loaded. So there you go. That's how you install Forge. If you want to install any other mods, you just drop the jar files in that mods fo folder or light mods and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. If you want to see any other of my tutorials, just check out my channel. They're under Minecraft Tutorials.